Hi, everybody. Uh, I wanted to show you a quick midweek dinner that I'm making tonight. Um, I've been making this for years, so it's delicious. It's a quick eight-ingredient pepper steak, okay? So basically, it's very easy. Um, it's I have two pounds of uh, meat, okay? That's the stir-fry meat. I do extra because there's more of us. Extra virgin olive oil, soy sauce, honey, and red wine vinegar. Those are your three main ingredients. It's a simple dish. Um, I have one very large onion that I um, chopped up. I have red uh, bell peppers, that's two and two green bell peppers, okay? And I also have a little bit of um, beef broth because I like extra sauce, and um, I'll show you later on how we do that. So um, I have my um, countertop uh, skillet so that I can show you all tonight how I do this. So what I'm gonna do is um, add my olive oil, okay? So it's an all-in-one pot dinner, okay? And um, basically, I'm just going to make sure that's nice and hot, okay? And add my stir-fry meat, okay? So I'm putting all two pounds right here in the pot. And I'm going to salt and pepper my meat right now. Okay? So, there's the salt. There's the pepper. Okay? And uh, let me show you. Okay, so. I never used this uh, pot before. It's um, an electric um, skillet countertop. My mother bought it for me years ago. I pulled it out today. I, I said, let me use this for my cooking show. And it's nice and big. You could fit a whole meal in here. All right. So um, I have all my ingredients. I have everything that's ready to go. And um, so I'm going to cook the meat first. And then I'm going to take out my meat. And then I'm going to do my peppers until they're a little soft, and then add my onions. So let me show you how, once the meat is done, and I take it out of the uh, pan, how we do our next step. Okay, so what I've done is I fried up my steak. That took about five minutes, okay? I removed it from the pan, okay? And now, and I cleaned out my pan with some paper towel, wet paper towel. All right, so now I'm going to start to cook my vegetables. So I'm going to add more olive oil, okay? And I'm going to start with the peppers since they take a little longer than the onions. So we're going to add our red peppers. And I love red peppers. They're so sweet. I think they're one of my favorite. And my green peppers. Okay? So we're going to add that in. All right, and we're gonna cook these until they're soft. Okay, and let me show you. So we're gonna reserve the steak and add that uh, in a little bit to the dish. And so it's, you know, all comes together. And this is a very quick dish. I love pepper steak. This is one of my favorite dishes. Um, I serve it with white rice. Uh, it's very filling. It's steak. It's peppers. And um, it's quick for during the week when you're on the go. I have uh, my son's basketball game tonight. So uh, I'm kind of in a rush. I said this is going to be uh, a good dinner. So um, let me just show you what I do. So I have all of this cooking in my, um, in my electric skillet here. All right. And what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put um, the cover on so that it helps cook the peppers a little faster so they get soft quickly. Um, and then I'm going to add my onions, okay? Okay, so uh, this is cooking. I have the cover on to help um, the peppers get soft quicker. Um, so, and it smells so good. I love this dish. I really do. Um, it's not an Italian dish, but it's a very nice dish to make during the week. Okay, let me put my cover here. And now we're going to put our onions in. These have been cooking for about five minutes. And this skillet is great. Um, yeah, I'm going to be using this. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I'm going to add my onions. All right, and that's one very large onion that I um, cut up. Okay, so let me flip you around. And there we are. So let's just mix this. It's like, um, kind of like, you know, you're making uh, sausage and peppers. So we're going to get that all nice and soft together. And then I will show you how to um, make the sauce. It is the easiest sauce in the world. And I will show you how to do that in the next step. Okay, we are at the point that we're ready to start making our sauce. So let me take off this cover. All right. <laughs> hot stuff. I need some hot stuff, baby, this evening. <laughs> okay, so let me show you. So look how nice and soft all the uh, vegetables are okay this is the point that I like to start making the sauce when it's caramelized okay and I will show you how to do this now so I have a cup of beef broth okay I need my other hand. <laughs> it's not going to work. I'll show you after. Um, okay, so I have um, a cup of the beef broth. This is all an even um, amount recipe for each condiment, each ingredient. Okay, so I have, um, I'm going to do a honey. Honey actually makes this dish glazy. All right, so I'm going to do a, okay, I'm going to do three quarter cup of honey. All right, so now I'm going to do the same for my, uh, well, soy sauce, no, soy sauce, we're going to um, go a little bit less. You don't want too much soy sauce because then it will be too salty. I'm going to do about um, a little less than half a cup of the soy sauce. Half a cup of soy sauce. That's what I'm doing. Okay? So we have our soy sauce in. And then we're going to add our red, um, red vinegar. All right. So we're going to do three-quarter cup of red vinegar. Now, don't forget, we already salted and pepper our steak when we put it in. All right, so let me mix this all up. Okay. And this is what it's going to look like. All right, it's a little dark, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to boil down a little bit and get more glazy. Because the honey is in there. And that's what you want. You want this to all start um, simmering down a little bit. Okay. Now, what 
What we also do at this point is um, I'm going to spoon out with a ladle a little bit of the broth because I want to thicken this up a little bit. I don't want it to be so watery. So what I do is I take some broth in a dish and then I put some cornstarch in there. Okay? And that's like... What is that? A teaspoon? Okay? And then I'm going to mix this. All right? And then we're going to add it in here. And this will thicken your sauce without making it lumpy. Okay, because you don't want any lumps in there. Okay. And now we're also at the point where we add our meat. Okay. So we're going to let this all cook together. We add our meat. I have white rice that is almost ready on the stove okay so I mix this all and let me show you what we're looking at until it's ready see look how nice everything is together in one big pot one big happy family <laughs> and it's delicious it really is um, so I'm gonna let this cook with no cover on for a few more minutes so um, it all just kind of gets bub bubbly and um, it glazes up a little bit. I'm letting the honey work itself through and um, we'll be back to plate this and have our taste test to George. Check it out. Stay tuned. Thank you. Okay, we're back. We finished our pepper steak tonight and uh, I have some white rice that I made okay and gonna put a little bit I'll be taste testing for you tonight um George is uh we're kind of in a rush and um we're just getting ready to leave uh to go out but I so I'll be taste testing for you tonight I wanted to just show you how nice this comes um I basically let the sauce just kind of simmer down and thicken up by itself and it's so good let me show you what it looks like so this is what you basically want it to look like it thickens up it turns a little bit glazed the sauce the peppers are soft the steak is all cooked through and um i put it over the bed of uh, white rice and uh, it all just comes together so nice there are many different variations of this recipe um, some people use different kinds of oil um, Asian oils some people um, use different condiments to flavor it I keep it very simple so let me taste it for you now bon appetit it's hot. Mm. It's so good. It's delicious. I hope you try it. It cooks in under 45 minutes. It took me 10 minutes to cut the onions and peppers. You make the white rice while it's simmering in its last stage um, for 10 minutes. And... Um, it's just a nice meal to make anytime, not just during the week, Saturday, weekends, and um, I hope that you all uh, give it a try, and I wish you all a nice evening, stop the bonus, stay good, and God bless, we'll see you next time.